chief nurse executive, former director of the birth center, and a mother of two sons born right here at John Muir Health, welcome to our Walnut Creek Medical Center. Today, our amazing team is going to take you on a virtual tour of our labor and delivery unit and our mother baby unit, as well as share valuable information with you about breastfeeding and other new parent resources we offer to help get your baby off to the best possible start. We're excited that you've chosen our hospital to have your baby. One of the first things that you're going to do is pre-register online. You can do this at johnmuirhealth.com. The best time to do this is when you are 20 to 24 weeks pregnant, as this will help speed up your check-in to the labor and delivery desk. When you go into labor, the first thing that you're going to do is call your doctor. They will let you know whether or not it's the right time to come to the hospital. Getting to the hospital is easy. You will follow signs for the emergency room off of Ignacio Valley Road. Once you turn into the parking lot, you will park in one of the parking spots that's clearly delineated ER and labor and delivery. If there are no parking spaces available, you are welcome to park curbside and get mom safely upstairs to us in labor and delivery. During the hours of 9 p.m. to 5 a.m., the labor and delivery entrance is closed. During this time, please enter through the emergency room located right next door. They will escort you up to us on labor and delivery. Once inside, you will take the elevator up to the third floor. At the entrance, you will pick up the phone and we will buzz you in. All of our labor and delivery rooms are equipped with wireless fetal monitors. This allows you to move around freely during your labor, walk the hallways, or even take a shower as they're waterproof. All of our rooms also offer birthing balls and peanut balls. Wondering what a peanut ball is? A peanut ball is a ball that we can utilize after you get an epidural as your legs get very heavy and tend to close off the pelvic outlet. Our labor beds are designed to support the labor process and can accommodate many different positions. We also offer squat bars should you choose to use one during your labor. When it comes to what you want to bring to the hospital, less is more. When you are packing your bag for the hospital, what you are going to want to include is your toiletry items, your phone, your phone charger, your camera, your camera charger, perhaps a lightweight robe that you can slip on, or some easy on and off shoes. If you have a birth plan, you will also want to bring a copy for your nurse. You can have your support person, plus up to four other people in your labor and delivery room at any given time. However, no children under the age of 12 are permitted in the birth center, except for siblings of the newborn. We offer a wide variety of pain management options. We do anything from low intervention techniques, up to nitrous oxide, IV pain medicine, or an epidural. Your care team will consist of your doctor or midwife, your nurse, an anesthesiologist if you choose to use one, as well as our pediatrician. Perinatologists and neonatologists are available as needed. If you are planning to have a C-section, you will be allowed one support person in surgery with you. In most cases, your baby will be placed skin to skin with you while you are still in the operating room. Right after delivery, if you are experiencing a high-risk pregnancy or if your baby needs extra care immediately after birth, you can feel confident that your baby will receive expert care while remaining close to you in our neonatal intensive care unit operated through our partnership with Stanford Children's Health. Welcome to the mother baby unit, also known as the postpartum unit. Shortly after delivery, you will be transferred to our unit for routine postpartum care until you are discharged. You are allowed one support person to stay overnight with you. All support persons need to be 18 years of age or older. Your other children are not allowed to stay overnight, so we ask that you plan accordingly. All rooms are private with pull-out beds for your support person. With family-centered care, baby will room in with you 24-7. All newborn testing and baby's first bath will be done in the room with you. Moms will get three meals a day. We also have refrigerators in every room, which you are allowed to store food from outside or food from downstairs in our cafeteria. Visiting hours are between 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. All visitors will enter through the main hospital entrance and will require photo identification in order to receive a badge from security. With the exception of siblings of the newborn, no children under the age of 12 are allowed to visit. Before leaving the hospital, you will need to choose your baby's name as we will help you with the birth certificate application process. You will need an infant car seat to take your baby home. 
Please remember to have it properly installed prior to your arrival at the hospital. It's important to have your pediatrician pre-selected before you come to the hospital to have your baby. Depending on the pediatrician that you choose, some will come to the hospital to visit your baby in the days following your delivery. If your pediatrician does not come to the hospital, we will have our in-house pediatrician follow your baby until you are discharged. We will then send the records of your baby's stay with us over to the pediatrician's office that you're choosing. You can search for pediatricians on our website. You can view their videos and find the right doctor for you and your family. One of the great things about having your baby at John Muir Health is the wide array of breastfeeding resources that are available to support you as you start learning how to breastfeed your baby. All of the nurses in our birth center have received extensive training to help you with lactation. They'll be there with you to support you as you latch your baby for the first time and throughout your stay in postpartum. If you have any complications or challenges such as sore nipples or a sleepy baby, the nurses will be there to assist you. For more difficult challenges, there are international board certified lactation consultants who are available to help you as well. We have breast pumps available on the mother-baby unit for mothers who need to pump while they're in the hospital, for example, if they're separated from their baby. We also have breast pump rentals available for moms who need to take a breast pump home. The birth of a baby is one of life's most cherished moments, and at John Muir Health, we're here to support you every step of the way to help you experience your pregnancy and new parent journey the way that you desire.